rock bottom. I feel like when you make a video like this, you lose a piece of yourself. And it's not something that I ever thought that I'd be making a video about with a 1200 subscriber channel because the last thing I want to do is alienate my audience. Last night, coming home from being out with my friends at a couple of nightclubs, I got into a car accident. There's no alcohol involved, on my part at least. I haven't been drinking at all. I have some doctor appointments coming up at Moffitt Cancer Center at the time of me making this video next weekend. So I've been avoiding drinking. Um, basically what happened was that I was trying to get into a turn lane and I went over two lanes of traffic, the second lane being the turn lane, uh, and all of a sudden I got hit in the back. The reason why this bothers me so much uh, is because I paid for my car. You know, my car is nice. I've shown it on the channel before. It's the same car that got broken into when I went to Boca Raton uh, like over, about a year ago now. Uh, it's a 2022 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack 392 Hemi. It's like a $60,000 fucking car. I don't know how much it's going to cost to fix everything. Basically, it's the left-hand side. If you're looking at the back of the car, it's the left-hand side. A lot of the paint has been scratched off. Uh, and the bottom left-hand side of that bumper is like hanging off by like this much. So all my lights still work, everything in the car still works. Um, just, I'm gonna have to pay a deductible because I didn't get the guy's insurance information. Because in his words, and I quote, hey, let's meet up on over here. And he turns on his hazard lights and drives down the road. And uh, I was so in shock, I didn't follow the guy. I didn't even get his license plate number. And he disappeared into the night. Like Batman, I guess. <sighs> the biggest issue with this is that because of my health issues, I haven't been able to work. You know, if you've been keeping track with the channel, you know that in May I quit a job that I thought was going to be a great job and full time and insurance. And they not only violated ADA, which is the Americans with Disabilities Act, which I fall under due to my health issues. Um, but they also just treated me like crap. They worked me hours that I never agreed to, that I didn't know were going to be a part of the job. Working me 4 a.m. to noon, and I was getting sick from my cancer medications. Uh, my boss said, well, your medication is your responsibility, and you need to take care of it. That's your problem, not mine, all this other crap. <sighs> and my car is like the main thing that I can say that I did. You know, I, I didn't take a car payment. I was on that grind. I saved up my money. I bought my car straight out. And, you know, it's busted. Like, yeah, it can be fixed, but I don't have the money to fix it. You know, sure, I've got insurance, but like, for all I know, it could be a $500 deductible. It could be a $1,000 deductible. It could be a $2,000 deductible. I just don't know. And I'm still waiting to hear back from the insurance company and, and all that stuff. I don't think it was a hit and run based upon how the guy acted and driving down the road with your hazards on isn't exactly a, a way to make a good hit and run unless he's just a really good actor. I, I just don't know. All that aside, at least with Florida law, my insurance will still cover it. I just will have to pay out a deductible and I don't know how much that's going to be yet. I wanted to hold off from this for as long as I could because I knew that I had a YouTube check coming in, which is amazing that I can even say I have a YouTube check coming in. <laughs> but obviously, with a 1200 subscriber channel, you're not exactly making, you know, Mr. Beast money, right? And so, I have opened up a Patreon. Um, I was already kind of potentially planning to do this because of the fact that my medical expenses are kind of insane 
And because of that, I just don't really have any money. I mean, I sold my Sprite Purely deck, not only because I was done with the deck, but also too because I wanted to have a little bit extra cash on hand. And now all that extra cash is gone. And I, I, I feel like I have nothing. So, I understand that this is going to piss some people off. I understand if it looks like I'm trying to be money hungry, and that's really not the point at all. I'm okay. I wasn't injured in the wreck. Well, I say wreck. It was more like a, a fender bender type of thing. I just don't know how much I'm going to have to pay out of pocket. That's the only issue here, right? You know, the car can be fixed and all that, but, like, you know, sucks to have to deal with. Especially when you don't have the money to deal with it. I already told my folks and my other family members, I'm like, I don't want y'all paying for it. This is my responsibility. If I got to grind out YouTube and make five, six videos a day, I'm going to make five, six videos a day to, you know, get that ad revenue up and, and help pay for that. Um, just the Patreon, I think, will help kind of mitigate some of that. Um, you'll see a link to it in the description of all my videos moving forward because even once I'm done paying for this this car accident stuff um, I will use it moving forward to help pay for medical expenses as like an extra bit of side money um, I have a few different tiers you can commit as low as five dollars to as high as a hundred dollars um, you don't have to commit anything at all you can just share the channel around get people to subscribe um, keep watching the content and just wish me well wishes in the comments. You can super thank me on the channel if you want. I'm gonna be live streaming uh, some of the NAWCQ later on today. I'm gonna to try and get some donations in that. Um, I just feel like crap that I have to make a video talking about a Patreon because I got into a, a car accident that wasn't even my fault. Because again, I don't wanna alienate you guys, but we are down a dark hole that I have not been in for a while and my brain is just because I, I feel like everything I've tried to do at this point has just been me running my wheels in the mud and nothing's been working out I'm, I'm unemployed I can't even find work now part time or full time I can't find anything and I, I have no income and I have no extra money now you know I, I was having plans to you know do some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and now I'm going to have to really pivot and change things now um, yeah and if this makes you mad and you want to unsubscribe I understand I'd be upset too I just I, I had to do this and um, yeah yeah so thank you guys I love you very much and if, if I can get everything to work out I'll hopefully be live streaming tonight, and um, it, it'll it'll be a good time. Hopefully, a little bit more upbeat. So, just please keep supporting the channel. I, I really do appreciate everything. Um, if if you want to donate to the Patreon, that's great too. Um, I just feel defeated, and I feel like a failure. <laughs> and I I think anyone in my position would feel the same.